Hello everyone and welcome to Garden to Kitchen. Today is a beautiful day in October. We're reaching almost around the 25th, 26th of October. Halloween is around the corner and it's time to harvest the potatoes from the large barrel. That's right, I promised you that we would harvest potatoes from this 27 gallon bucket that we've been growing potatoes in all summer. I did mention to you, or I did show you, uh, growing potatoes in a smaller bucket, like this one over here. This is a seven gallon bucket, and uh, I did grow potatoes in this bucket, and I did show you the potatoes. There was a, a reasonable harvest. I was very happy with the results. And, uh, and of course, that provided me with potatoes over the months of July and August and of course these large potato buckets we're looking for potatoes for of course the month of October November and of course right at Christmas time and if we have enough we'll uh, go into January with a few extra potatoes as well too so hopefully we're going to have some potatoes I'm going to harvest the potatoes in front of you and we're going to see how many potatoes we have in this particular 27 gallon bucket. So uh, why don't we get started? Oh, by the way, before we get started, uh, let me tell you a bit about potatoes. Canadians love their potatoes. We eat over a hundred pounds of potatoes every year. I probably eat a bit more than that and uh, maybe you do too. But anyway, uh, potatoes, yeah, very popular in Canada with Prince Edward Island growing the most potatoes Definitely followed by Manitoba, and then Alberta, and then New Brunswick. Yeah, in that particular order in which they grow a lot of potatoes in Canada. Of course, we don't uh, keep up to uh, the speed with uh, the people or the citizens of the Republic of Kavistan. In Kavistan, the Republic of Kavistan, they eat an average of 350 pounds of potatoes every year. So I hope they're, they're watching. Actually, I had a, uh, a follower the other day from the Ukraine, and he was uh, showing me how they dig potatoes out. So very interesting around the world how, uh, how we like our potatoes. So why don't we get started and start to harvest some of these potatoes, and we'll see how many we have. Uh, in this particular bucket here, this 27 gallon, you'll notice that I have a, uh, a drainage pipe. And I put this drainage pipe in at the start of the year. Uh, if you recall, maybe from some of the photographs earlier, uh, the soil level was much shallower. Uh, and of course, the potatoes started to grow around this pipe. The pipe serves as a, a, a way to feed the potatoes with water because I found it was difficult to get all the water to go down to the bottom. So uh, this is experimental. I just wanted to see how it was going to work. So uh, that's what the, the, uh, the pipe is all about. So first thing I'm going to do here, <coughs> I'm going to cut away some of these uh, branches here. Let's cut them away. And there we go. Ah, I could just pull them out. How about that? Yeah, they just come out. Don't even have to cut them. So let's put those aside and we'll just pull these out and uh, we'll see what's in this particular bucket. Now I'm going to uh, remove this. I'm going to cut this away and I'm going to remove the pipe if it comes out that is. Oh, there it is. Okay, so that was the pipe. Went right down to the bottom. It has holes in it and of course it provided nutrients. Water would go down the pipe to feed the potatoes. So anyway, we're going to put that aside and we're going to check the bucket here to see if we have any. First of all, I see a red potato down here in the hole. So I'm going to just go after that one. Wow, look at that potato. We have here, this is a red Viking red Viking potato. We'll put that in here and we'll see how many potatoes we get from this bucket. I have another bucket over here. I'm just going to put some of the soil in 
because I have to get down to the bottom. So there we go. Just gonna dig some of these out. Ah, oh, here we go. One red potato. Oh, there's another one. Another one here. Whoa. You more red potatoes. Let's see how many we get from this bucket. Now, I'm kind of anxious to see here to get to the bottom because that's where some of them are growing. Ah, there's another potato. Yeah, we're doing quite well here. Let's move this. We're going to move this over here. Yeah, we're going to continue to dig down here. That's, oh, I see some red ones down here. Wow, look at that. Look at that potato. Whoa, another one. Another one here. Whoa, look at that red potato. Oh, we're doing pretty well. They're big. That's for sure. And of course, I used a bit of horse manure when I planted these. You saw me do that. Another red one. Oh, there's another red one. Oh my goodness, look at this. There we go. Here's another one. Wow, look at the red potatoes coming out of here. Yeah, I like uh, these potatoes. I like them mashed. I like them boiled. I like them uh, scalloped. Scalloped potatoes are nice too. Really like scalloped potatoes. So we're going to have some scalloped potatoes with these red Vikings. Well, there's another one. There's another one here. My goodness. Uh, 27 gallon potato bucket. Whoa. They're still coming. Look at that one. Yeah, well. Take that aside. I've noticed that the seed potatoes have completely disintegrated. Can't see them at all. And of course all we're left with is red Viking potatoes. Whoa. Some smaller ones here. Well, there you go. I think that's enough potatoes for us, certainly for Christmas, and uh, that's a pretty good haul. I love these potatoes because they're like rocks. They're really, really solid, and they're lovely to cook. They're a great uh, potato. They're called Red Viking. Red Viking. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this. I know I promised to deliver this video to you, so here it is. We're almost at the end of October, so happy Halloween. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you send this off to your friends by email. I hope you pin it. I hope you subscribe, and uh, we'll see you next time in the garden. Thank you very much.